Well, 348 is not 330. I know, we do that every time. But it'll work enough. Got Trooper yeah. getting his stuff already. Got his suitcase. Figure I'm going to take the diesel. Had an exciting, uh, just shut that. Yeah. Had a good morning. Not a very good morning, so I lost shit up. But like I said, after yesterday and the mowing, got all that done. But not a very good morning. Not a very good start to it. So we're going to make it better. And just get on the road and take you to the hos the hospital. I'm so used to no, no, no. I'm so used to hospitals after uh, after all my shit and your shit from back home and my shit from hands. So okay, let's take you to the airport, That's not a hospital. Much better. And get you out there safe and sound, so you can take care of all your business back there and take a nap today. Hey, I got no okay. I didn't get shit for sleep either. I woke up at 1 a.m. wide awake. I don't know why. I just Tried to get to bed at 9. I don't think I got to bed till like 11. Woke up wide awake, 1 a.m., starving, hungry. I don't know. It's going to be a long day for both of us. Okay, now we're back in business. That was a little funky. Um, got in there. Check her bag. She doesn't. Her handle doesn't pop up, so that sucks. Her handle doesn't pop up, so I have to be hunched over half the time dragging her bag. And then we both fall into the bathroom. She watched Trooper, she went to the bathroom. I watched Trooper, gave him a little big old scratch. His tongue's like hanging out pretty good because he's tired. Get his chill pill. And then sat there for a bit and then took her to the line. She had pre TSA pre-check already done, so she's good. Handed Trooper off and sent her off. And I tried to vlog before that, but my camera was just going fuzzy and it wasn't going to work. So I shut my phone off and went and dropped her off and turned off her left and now it's working just fine on my phone okay we're good but i drove the diesel because like i said i was having somewhat kind of weird issues with my uh uh my turbo the gauge oh man i dropped a glove good thing i noticed that dropped a glove out of my door but yeah i had some weird um readings on the way back from the dunes but so it was fine yesterday after i put the trailer away so it was all good and then it was fine um all the way here it should be fine all the way back just wanted to check and i'll just contact my buddy as a decent mechanic and get some insight you know like what it could happen what it could have been if it was just a sensor just reading wrong or whatever but probably gonna snag some food on the way home and just get home i was up at like 1 a.m so i'm not really tired, but I figure mid morning I will. Maybe I'll just start stuff down while I'm awake and it's nice and cool out. 77. Nice. Well, I found out uh, from the day after. Uh, today's been a pretty rough day with the hand. It's been hurting pretty darn good, so I was not even going to mess with the sand tires. Just came home, took a pretty good long nap which was felt nice. I grilled all those hamburgers, ended up eating all of them throughout the period of the day, so it's been good. I've been hungry, had a good appetite. Yeah, like I said, hands been hurting pretty good after mowing, so got it done, but kind of paying the price for it today, but good thing tomorrow is the orthopedic at 9.30 in the morning, so about to be good to see what all he has to say and check everything out and do some x-rays and see what's going on make sure everything's right good and where it should be and make sure we don't find anything else so yeah hannah's gonna stay with chanel tonight hasn't seen her friend in a while i'm gonna try to figure out how to wrap my bag my hand in a plastic bag and i'm gonna try to figure out how to i'm gonna leave this open for a good few four hours or so and then i'm gonna figure out how to try to wrap it by myself Figure it out. Get her knocked out. So, just kind of a another painful day. <laughs>